Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week a number 72 with me Craig Barton. Now last week we took a look at one of the brand new topics that's going to be featured on the brand new GCSE that current year 9 students will be sitting uh, in 2017 and that was frequency trees. And this week I thought we'd turn our attention to the other major new topic that's going to be on that brand new GCSE and that's Venn diagrams. Now, unlike frequency trees, most people will have a bit of a concept of what Venn diagrams involve. Uh, they appear on a, a lot of exam board statistics one module um, at AS level um, and A2 level. And also, if you've got kids um, of your own who've, who've been to primary school in the last few years, Venn diagrams tend to pop up a fair old bit there as well. Uh, but they are brand new to the, to the GCSE. Now the problem is, as I was mentioning with frequency trees, we don't exactly know what level they're going to be tested at these Venn diagrams. We don't know the style of the questions or even the exact content that's going to be tested or, or, or the way it's going to be asked. So there's no point rushing in and, and panicking about this. But if you do want to give your students a little taste of Venn diagrams or your staff a little taste just so they can think about it, um, then this is an absolutely wonderful resource to use. Venn diagram lesson um, uploaded by S. Curzon. And taking advantage of the lovely way that the brand new TES resource website set out, we can actually download all six files in one go with it with a simple click there and also get this wonderful preview of what the resource entails. So I've downloaded everything and let's go through this in turn. Uh, first off, we have a wonderful PowerPoint. And I say wonderful because it's, it's interesting and engaging this. It, it starts off in a lovely way with that grill menu. Um, I definitely eat in that restaurant. So a lovely Venn diagram explaining the pricing structure there. And that'd be fantastic. Just bang that on the board and get the kids to write down three things that they notice about that or, or three things that they think that that's telling them. Or ask them how much do you reckon an egg and sausage will cost or something along those lines. Uh, then we move into a more formal study of Venn diagrams, but via the medium of wonderful Lego characters. So there we've got hats and glasses and students could be asked to sort those out. And of course, there'd be nothing wrong with if you've got some either characters uh, of your own um, or some other thing that's got uh, kind of two or three different characteristics to bring them in and physically get the kids sorting them out uh, on tables and in pairs and in groups and stuff like that. And then we have completed Venn diagrams and the poor, poor bloke here left on his own um, on the outside. So the idea behind this, this PowerPoint, as you can see, is just to get students introduced to the main concept. Uh, we can do probabilities if we want, because Venn diagrams are, are particularly nice for that. And then we get our first taste of the kind of set notation here, or the notation for Venn diagrams with the and and, and the or, or the, the and and the, the unison notation here. And this kind of brings us to the, ne the next kind of stage of the lesson. And it's, it's up to you whether you want to go down this road. There's nothing wrong with keeping Venn diagrams just for sorting and classifying data and getting, getting kind of numbers involved. But if you do want to take it to the next level, particularly if you've got kids um, who are pre pretty able and you're thinking that they're going to be taking on a um, maths A level in a few years' time, then there's this wonderful activity here, which is, which is a card sort. So the students are given shaded regions there, and they've got to match up those shaded regions with the definitions for those regions. So you get the knots and the unions and all that kind of kind of sort of the compliments or whatever language you want to use to, to describe them so there's a lovely little card sort activity and you'll be pleased to know that the uh, the, the answers to that card sort um, are given there along with some some nice notes on Venn diagrams so once students have done that particular bit so they've got their idea into what a Venn diagram is and they've got a little bit of matching up going on then comes the tricky bit because now we get some questions and these are absolutely wonderful set of questions here so again, really nice stuff. The, the first couple um, you could well imagine using with, with uh, younger students um, because they're just asking them to fill out Venn diagrams and then uh, work out the probabilities uh, here and there. But again, you can leave the probability bits out if you want. If you want. But then we get to the re more difficult ones here where students are asked to firstly create their own Venn diagrams and that, that adds a certain degree of difficulty to it when it's, it's not obvious what the two variables are that they're splitting. And then you get some really, really nasty stuff going on here where they've fully got to understand it. Then you get a three-way Venn diagram on the go and so on. Um, and then an extension task, which is an absolute nightmare, but brilliant at the same time. And you'll be pleased to know we get some lovely little solutions to these uh, work solutions, which are given as well. Now, as I say, there's no point panicking about this and thinking, oh, my God, my kids are never going to be able to do that. Because, we, as I say, we don't know exactly what level that these are going to be tested at. And indeed, at our school, when we were planning on our schemes of work over the summer, we're leaving things like Venn diagrams and frequency trees uh, for formal teaching in year 11, with our thinking being 
that by that stage in, in two years time when the exam boards have figured out exactly what the, the papers are going to look like perhaps we've got a couple of textbooks bombing around and a bit more information and guidance that's when we can we can make sure that we, we teach it exactly as the students need it to be taught but there's nothing wrong with until then just chucking in a few of these at the kids just getting them familiar with the concept so it's not completely alien to them uh, when, when they hit year 11 so just like frequency trees last week and venn diagrams this week um i think we're going to we're going to give our year nines a little go at this just just to see how they react to it and also see how staff react to it as well so there it is an absolutely wonderful uh, venn diagrams lesson that can be modified or adapted to, to suit your needs I um, hope you found that useful pop back on the uh, resource page and give a little review if you did and i will return with a fresh resource of the week next week take care and bye for now